Okay, uh, we're going to run through how to uh, get some macros in and give you a little bit more enhanced control. Uh, probably the last directory you're in was Supermon, so we need to back out of there. Uh, back up again, back up again. Okay, we're going to go to ETC. We're going to navigate back to our asterisk directory. So go to ETC, down to rpt.conf, open that up. Okay, I'll show you how to get the macros in here. Scroll all way, way down here. Way down. Uh, okay, there we are. Okay, right in this area right here, um, you're going to see example functions to call scripts. It's, it's quite a ways down the page. It's, it's, it's just above where we put your uh, IP addresses in. So, okay. Uh, and you'll see place command macros here. So we're going to get you going with some macros. So I already have some on in a separate folder here. So what you want to do is you, there's something we're going to have to add right in below the B6 equals CMD command that's commented out. So uh, what we're going to want to do, I'm going to paste this in here and then basically you can uh, copy it visually on the screen and input this. This is if you want the same macros. This is the only thing I'm going to deal with. So I'm going to paste this in. Okay, what we're going to have is we're going to have a macro to disable radio, enable radio, reboot, enable telemetry, and disable telemetry. Okay, now once you have that in here, you want to go below place command macros here and you see this one equals star eight one. So we need to input from some information right there. So let me get down here and I will copy this in so you can see what it looks like do this exactly uh, exactly and I guarantee you it works okay so those are your macros you can take a look at that and you can pause at any t at any time in these videos just hit the spacebar key and pause so you can copy you can read through and copy stuff uh, to your own configuration hit save in the top left corner and we're going to need to restart so if you're not in putty uh, go ahead and get back uh, ssh into your node through putty you'll come up with a menu screen and do a restart menu 13. run selected items yes and now you have uh, command macros. Macros need to be initiated with a star always and a macro these macros will run on a star 5 something so let me eliminate this so if you want to disable radio you put in a star 5 6 and it helps to write this down on paper if you want to enable the radio it would be star 5 7 Disable telemetry star 5.8. Enable telemetry, telemetry star 5.9. If, if you have a bunch of people connected to you and there's people connecting in and out, the node announcements will drive you absolutely bonkers. So uh, this is why I have the disabled telemetry in there. It shuts that off. It it's, makes for a much peaceful existence with the system. Okay, let me take a break here. I'll be back. Okay, uh, lastly... Uh, another thing that drives me completely bonkers is the time announcement on the node. There is a way to get rid of this. So what you want to do is you want to go into PuTTY, uh, start Bash Shell, Selection 9, and this is a cron tab. So you want to do, you want to put in cron tab, C-R-O-N-T-A-B, space, dash E. Okay, and down where you'll see, you'll see four lines down, 00, zero space 0-23. Zero you need to comment that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use your arrow keys. Go down 1, 2, 3, and we need to put a pound sign in there. So shift, pound. Okay, that's done. And that basically eliminates your time. Now to save that, hit control O, not zero, control O, file name to write, and there you go, uh, and hit enter. Wrote five lines. Okay, that's done. Now hit control X, and once you get back to the main bash shell screen, type in exit, and that's it. 
Uh, exit log out. No need to restart. We are done. That's as, as far as we can go right now. I do have uh, instructions for Zoiper, setting up Zoiper, uh, which is very handy on your, on your phone. You can use Zoiper to go, get in the back door and actually talk on the system um, if you're out of range of your Node VRF. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope it's successful. You're successful in your uh, uh, first run, and I know you're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. And have a great day, 7-3. Hope to hear you on uh, All-Star or AHF. All the best.